Alright, welcome back to Six Gun Guitars. Uh, this is the Electric Bass series again. And I've done a couple of things since the last video. Uh, last video, obviously, we finished up the fretboard. And I took the, I took the clamps off the headstock where we put the wings on the other day. And I went ahead and took it over to the belt sander. And I sanded it up so it's nice and smooth. And actually, I got another little nick right back here I need to take a look at, which will only take a second. It's pretty small. So I got that. And again, truss rod slots routed, edges are nice and straight, neck is ready to go. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue in my truss rod, or actually I'm not going to glue in, I'm sorry, you do not want to glue in your truss rod. I'm going to lay in my truss rod, and I'm going to put the fretboard over it. I also took the edge of the fretboard, the leading edge there, and I knocked it down. So I've got a little bit of a bevel on there, so it blends in real good. I'm going to put that baby on there right there so where it covers, and get that guy glued up. And then I'm going to go over to the bandsaw and saw out the profile after it's done. Saw out the profile and the shape for my headstock. And then we should be ready to go ahead and start doing the body. So I will bring you over to the bench here and I'll just show you a really good way to get everything lined up and get everything in well so that way your fretboard doesn't slide around when you clamp it down. Alright, so I know my neck is nice and straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the width of here, which has not changed the entire time, nor is the width down there. I'm going to use that to find my center point here. So what I did was I lined it up pretty close by eye, and I'm checking with a caliper to see how much space I have left. And the space now... Now the space matches perfectly. So it's going to be a nice, straight neck going all the way down. And yes, I'm checking this repeatedly, but it beats doing it again. Especially with a guitar that's due on Christmas Eve, there's just no way, there's just really no way to redo this. So, I got that on there the way that I want it. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to search feverishly for my tack hammer, apparently. Uh, here we go. It's got a couple of little carpet tacks. Just plain old ordinary carpet tacks. And what I'm going to do, and you can probably hear the dog in the background, that's what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and set this next to the end right here so it's perfectly straight because I want to use the edge of the tack, not the point, to locate this. So I'm going to set that on here and I'm going to give it a couple of little taps, just a couple to get it in. Now I've got my first one in. I check my distances again, and I have shifted just a shade. So I'm going to bring that back, give it a check, give it a check. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to pull this one, come over again. Sometimes when you put it in, if you don't put it in right you'll catch something else. So again, you don't want to drive the point you don't want to drive the point in right next to your thing, you want to drive the shaft in right next to it. So we'll go ahead and give this one another hammer. And you want to keep it kind of away from your fretboard. You know, the only thing this is here for is lining things up. That is it. So I'm going to put that there. Check my mark, check my mark. Okay, I'm getting to be satisfied with this. I'll send this one in a little further. Alright. Bend it just a little bit, got my mark. Got my mark. Okay, now I'm going to send another one in on the other side. And these guys are really tiny, so you know, you hit your finger just a little bit, but not much. Alright, so that guy is now locked in there pretty darn good. Alright, now what these are going to do is serve as a couple of locators. So you can actually slide the neck out, and you'll have your two tacks in there. So what you do next time is you just come back, 
slide it in between the two when you go to do your glue up. This one keeps coming loose here. Slide it in between your neck when you go to do your glue up. And it's going to help keep things from shifting around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back now and get the back of this loaded up with glue and go ahead and glue it on there. Um, again, all I'm going to do is slide this out, put glue all over the back of the fretboard, and get it on there really, really good. And I'm going to put a little bit on here, but I'm going to try to avoid the area that's directly around my truss rod. So that way we don't get any glue down in there. Because that's the last thing you want is glue down in here, and your truss rod doesn't operate or it struggles and it doesn't do what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and get that glue on. I'm going to glue this up. I'm just going to clamp with light pressure all the way down it. Check to make sure everything's lined up really well and then start torquing down the clamps kind of back and forth across evenly to make sure that it doesn't come out of alignment again. On the bottom side, my fretboard is almost exactly the width of this neck blank. So what would be nice is I'll just go ahead and line that up and I can eyeball that because it's very, very close and everything should be lined up really well. And we'll be ready to get it glued on here and clamp it up and we'll go start working on the body probably after this.